uh, car date, December 28th, 2021, I've stumbled across another problem with the IROC. Okay, well, that was my best interpretation of that one weird show with the spaceship and aliens and all that good stuff. Anyway, tonight on Right Turn Garage TV, um, we have another little unexpected video. Remember how I told you this was going to be a complete swap over uh, on the old IROG Z Converter Bell? Well, the one part apparently I didn't order, it, it failed. See that there? That bit right here? That's the bleeder. And on this uh, 1987 original piece, believe it or not, whenever I cracked the bleeder, that was the last time that bleeder was uh, ever going to be tight. Because GM, not that they're cheap or anything, or ever has been cheap like any other car manufacturer, but this piece originally underneath on the car is plastic. The screw, well, it's metal. And um, it stripped like, I ain't kidding you. It, it stripped quicker than... Well, I stripped quick, okay? I, I can't think of anything. So, needless to say, tonight we're going to be installing, which doesn't take very long, the new slave cylinder. And we're also going to be bleeding it, which I wasn't really sure how to do until I stumbled across the old uh, bleeder screw. I was going to show you guys. Man, I had this... Where'd it go? <sighs> anyway, uh, the little center punches. You have to knock this dowel. Is that what's a dowel pin? You know, that metal thingy right there. You gotta knock that out. And then, hopefully I can get that line off of there without a whole lot of hassle, or out of there without a whole lot of hassle because it fits down in here and there's a rubber o-ring seal this one is dormant this one is a metal replacement <coughs> probably way more gooder than the stock one but the, i mean the stock one did last and it actually would have worked just fine if i didn't decide to replace more parts that i actually wasn't even bad yet yet um i just don't believe in taking those kind of risks whenever you know stuff's buried behind that and way back there and it just it's not good or like that it's not good or at all so anyway um i've already pushed this pin out of the uh old one if i can find my stinking light there it is we're going to find out together how tough it is to get this line off of here because Guess what? I've never done one of these either. Let's just see. Oh, yeah. Oh, Christmas, you was not good to me. Gained too many pounds. All right, so this is your slave. You see that? Slave cylinder right. Yeah. There's horrible lighting. There's better. So it's not mounted, obviously. Right there's your line. There's your line coming in. Now you have to reuse this plastic coming in, right? So, there shouldn't be any fluid left. If there is, the camera might find it first. That was remarkably easy. I don't even believe that just happened. Wow. Okay, well, uh, now that that happened, even more good -er, er So, wow, really? Is that really it? I kind of feel like a, I cheated the system or something. Oh. <clears throat> what in the world? Okay, well, there's supposed to be an O ring seal somewhere. Is it? It may have, like, uh, it may have retired. I'm not really sure. So we're going to pull this old one out of here. Stare at the seal. Oh. Fat butt getting up. Hold on. And I don't see an O-ring in there. I 
I'm 100% sure there was one. Is one? Was one? I don't know. But I do know the kit come with one. Not that, that's what's... This right here is just a plug you can remove. This right here is no ring. And then it comes with your brand new dowel pin to put it back together. But I ain't gonna kid you. I don't see, do you guys see? I don't, I don't see nothing but rust. I'm gonna, you know what? Let's just for gigs. Maybe it's the same color as rust anymore where it's been in there for 30 years. <coughs> so we're gonna take a pick, dig down in there just a, just a smidgen. You know what, there he is. There's an O-ring seal down at the very bottom of this. It fits apparently at the very bottom. Guys and gals. I just really want to see where it was at. That's it. Well anyway. So the O-ring goes at the very bottom. It doesn't go in the center of the uh that line there you'll see what i'm talking about again give me a second i just want to kind of dig this out just just for gigs just to make sure i am right but that i mean prying on it it felt like it was moving like it was rubber but it's hard to balance this camera and all that so just give me a few seconds be right back okay so we're back that really took two seconds um there was no ring seal in there and you'll notice on your brand new seal you have well maybe both sides are like that anyway i was trying to compare and see which side the lip went on the most and to me they're the exact same i just noticed that so anyway it doesn't matter now do not put any kind of lubricant on this this is you might as well consider this to be brakes. Any kind of hydraulic, uh, you don't want any kind of mineral oil, I, I believe, in mineral oil? Any kind of lubricant, stuff like that to get in there and contaminate it, because that's not good. -er. Now what you'll want to do to seat this, let me see if I can show you. I'm just going to take a regular flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to gouge the crap out of it now. I'm just going to shove down real easily because my fingers are too fat. Or, you know what? Might be even more gooder is to find a socket and then shove down there. So let's find a socket. That does sound better because a socket, it ain't going to puncture anything, is it? Shut up. Quarter inch drive. Come here, boy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? That might work. Does that work? <coughs> Survey says. Sorry about the cough. Anyway. And I'm sure if you don't seat it down far enough, that uh, that pin ain't gonna go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that right there works. Quarter inch extension is the perfect seater of that seal. And you're gonna have to push it all the way to the bottom so you can't push no more because that pin has to slide in there and it's only gonna slide in if you're bottomed out. So that went exceptionally well. I'm scared. And then this is an Allen. I think I already dug one out. I did. Hooray me. And this says it's a four M&Ms. It's a four M&M size. So I'm just going to slide down there. Put the line back. Ah, you know what? I didn't grab the new pin, did I? Because I'm smart. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the new pin. So what we're going to do is just we're just gonna smack the crap out of it with a really large hammer. No, we're not. No, we're not. Man, that's 
That almost feels like it's metal, but it, it, it's so thin it feels like plastic. It tastes like metal and brake fluid. I got it on my hands, didn't I? Well, since we can't find a real small, don't mess it up too bad. We're gonna use this here, industrial strength hammer. And I'm gonna put that on there. And it should, I mean, in theories, she should go pretty good. Oi, oi, oi. Should say oink oink oink. Good night. There's what I was going to show you. See this tool right here? This punch is perfect. Perfect. Because it's spring loaded and it'll absolutely shove the pin out of the factory one. I hope you guys can see that. It's mine. I mean it it it's spring loaded if you push hard and then it just pa-ching shoots that sucker out of there then you take a pair of pliers and just go to town all right so skid it skid it easy where'd it go well i'm starting to wonder if i shouldn't have put the other ring on there should have i I don't know. That's where she goes. Yep, that's where. No, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's where she goes. My gersh. Oh, somebody farted in my pants. Oh man. And then you spend 27 minutes looking for this. You just dropped. Hopefully old sausage fingers ain't in the way too much. Now this line you can bend and pry on just a little bit. I mean it's plastic. You don't want to break it. Yes it's 30 years old. Just like everything else that you didn't replace. And then you end up replacing. So you know I got that going for me. And then uh, easy. Well shoot. Get in. Get it. Oh, oh, that, don't you drop. Okay, well. Anyway, what I'm going to do next, since it's going to take me like 27 minutes, is uh, I'm going to put this camera off. I'm, I'm feeling like stage fright going on or something. So, I'm going to put the camera down, get the sucker in there, and uh, then we're going to bleed it. All right? So just give me a few minutes, months, whatever it takes. All right guys, so I cracked the bleeder already and I put some fluad in there and it bubbled like a mother for like 13, 14 seconds ago. And now she's like, you know, she's just, it's taking a moment. She's, she's saying, you know what? Give me just a minute. So, <coughs> COVID. anyway. We might, we might have to actually mount it. I'm not sure. Or we can just work it, you know, Emmanuel type. Can you see? Hopefully you can see that. I wish I, maybe next year Santa will get me a GoPro 9 so I can see what the heck I'm recording. So what we're gonna do we're going to close the bleeder up top. I'm going to work this manually. Pump it up. We're going to act as if we're the pedal pusher. <laughs> as if we're pushing it with the pedal. Yeah, that makes more good or sense. And then we're just going to bleed it. Since, you know, we don't have no friends. But anyway, that's another show. It's another show. I'm sorry. I always do that. <laughs> but it's not easy. Okay, so let's just see. You take your four M and M size, and yep, tighten it somewhere, wherever it went. You say, where did you go? You know what? I didn't loosen it. I thought these things gravity bled pretty well. Old Amish guy told me that. So, oh yeah, well you just let them gravity bleed. 
let nature do its thing or however they talk you know I'm not even sure how it really bleeds really is it coming out of that hole is that a bleeder let's learn together shall we kids see right there I believe is a bleeder hole um, she's not she's not bleeding any but we do have two brand new components that need the air like bled out of them at the same time so that's good especially since I heard these were a pain in the butt to bleed so all right now we're going to tighten that screw back up and pop it like I said we were a, a few minutes ago so you know we got that going for us where where did you go tools where that's not you stop playing games where do you go all right well careful all right now we're just going to shove back here man that's tight god bless it yep oh boy i just heard it suck air so you know what that means i'm gonna go up top throw some more fluid at it Guys, I ain't kidding you. This thing is chugging fluid like nobody's bedding us. All right. <coughs> All right. Since I did fill it, we're going to pump that pedal a few more times. And what I'm doing, I'm just shoving back on the back of this piston because that's what this lever is going to do. Whenever you push in your clutch, it pushes it forward. Okay. So, oh, so we're just going to continue to do that. Golly, geez. Oh, until you pull the uh, little rod all the way out. Giggity. All right, let's see. Let's just see what we got here. I bet you we get fluid and we do looky there and that's really good because I heard these fluid these fluid these systems are really not so good or to bleed but I think if you get it down as far as you can and let gravity kind of do its thing I think that's when it becomes more good or -er -er. so the good thing is is I'm letting the floor catch all of it I forgot to get my drain pan. So we're going to get a drain pan. And uh, maybe. Drain pan. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there you are. Oh, so good drain pan. Okay, so anyway. It's not even late. You believe that? So... The good thing is, is it's only me, and this sucker is chugging brake fluid like an Irishman at an all-you-can-drink fest that's free. So by the time I squeeze my fat behind out from underneath this car to up top, she's already chugged a little thing of fluid because they gave it a shot glass full worth of... Uh, reservoir so i'm going to continue to let it gravity feed i think i'm going to actually mount it see how the pedal feels inside then we'll go from there i'll let you know how the gravity feed works and i just found a wrench with my foot and uh i think we'll be good all right one second so we got the bad boy all mounted underneath there I didn't really let it gravity feed too long at all and I have 
pebble. I mean, this mug, she's up there. Yep, you probably can't see it that well. You're just gonna have to trust me on that. And uh, that clutch, she feels excellente. The only con to it is, um, may not be able to tell until after we get starting it up and trying to go into gear, but nonetheless, uh, this thing was actually, I don't want to curse it, so I'm going, I'm, I'm probably going to curse it. I'm going to say this was easy to install and easy to bleed. This was a nice video. If I don't say so myself, didn't even plan on making it, tell you the truth. Tonight was actually going to be, you know, cleaning and prepping this to go into there. And I wasn't even going to record it because who wants me clean my rear end? I mean, the, the differential. Yeah, yeah. Or rear end. So what I'm going to be doing later on tonight, you know, getting rid of this magic thing that I cut. And I got new of those things. Sway bar links. But we're going to get rid of all this. I have a new rubber brake line. And I also, I bought new brake line, and it just occurred to me, I didn't buy new wheel cylinders at all. So we're going to hope those lines play really nice. You know, especially, oh, I did spray them. Hooray me. I actually did myself a favor. So hopefully, we can get all that nice cleaned up painted with new brake line plural even the rubber one i mean i i forgot to replace it what am i doing forgot to get wheel cylinders out of all the things well, it ain't like they ever leak right anyway so that's what i'll be doing the rest of the night and i'll probably clean up the dry shaft to paint it i mean why the heck not it's out you know because I hope to stop all the leaks on this Trio 5. And if not, she'll get a donation of some other kind of, you know, magical LS form. Probably not that one. That one's going in the gold chariot. But I'm planning probably to absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have more than one. So this thing eventually, once this car's done, will probably be back in here or maybe i'll do it in between this one probably not because i really want to concentrate on this 69 this is going to take up a lot of time i mean whew, boys i have never done hardly i've never done any kind of metal work like this she has this is just whew, old dad's got his work cut out for him i know i do but you know, whenever it's done, it's my 69. And it's it's the car I've always wanted. So whatever you guys want, man, make sure just do a job you hate for like 13 years. And then draw out your retirement because you know you're only 40. And you know, everybody's doing it. And buy a basket case well that's not really a basket case buy a nice fixer upper and spend the rest in some uh some big garage that you really love you know what the heck can't take it with you right well anyway guys this is me this is us and we're all thanking you for watching and uh guys we're over 80 subscribers how freaking sweet is that that just makes my day i mean People always ask me, how many you got? How many you got? You know, I'm waiting to hit a magical 100. Some people have thousands, doesn't matter. We'll get there eventually. You know, I still appreciate every single one of you to take your time out, watch the videos, hit the like button and hit subscribe. Tell your friends. I mean, I appreciate every daggone one of you. I promise you I do. Um, if, uh, if anybody's interested, 
in one of these t-shirts hit me up um i'm thinking about changing the old face place you know the book of faces my name on there right now is right turn uh i might turn it to right turn garage i don't know maybe i'll make it easier for people to find me on youtube so i don't know maybe it will maybe it won't we're kind of hoping but if you do just hit me up on there if you got any questions i can help you with if you see something that i'm messing up on because i guarantee i'm at least doing 12 of them right now don't even know it so i'm gonna button up a few things on this and we're gonna flip that car around and we're getting ready to do rear end swap now i'm purposely not filling that transmission up with transmission fluid yet because i want that dry shaft in there and the reason why is i don't want to leak all the fluid out because if you have any kind of pitch or angle or whatever it is it's going to come right out the tail shaft so there there, there is a method to the madness on all that um but anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate you and if you don't mind yep the old subscribe button it's somewhere down there thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on right turn garage tv